Next, we move on to this news courtesy of Mixed Mag regarding part life founder threatening to take legal action against the government for the drug testing U turn. This has been pretty odd to see to play out because effectively, if you don't know, the government basically agreed to this plan where they would have drug testing facilities at most festivals, the big ones across the UK. And the idea behind it was to basically, you know, for harm reduction and to obviously prevent, you know, widespread deaths that seem to happen every single year in festivals in the UK. Just the other day, actually in Grastonbury, two people there passed away, unfortunately. We don't know why it's the case, but for some reason, whenever we put on festivals in the UK, people tend to die. Um, and usually it, it seems to happen because they are taking messed up drugs that have been mixed with fentanyl or been boshed with all sorts of other shit. So if you have a drug testing facility at the festival, what would happen, you would imagine, is that number one, you'd hope it, that it would would encourage people to test their drugs so if they're bringing stuff with them they would be kind of you know comforted in the knowledge that they can test you know have it tested an anonymously without any repercussions and also you would hope secondly like a kind of cause of it would be that dealers who are flipping selling horrible fake shit would be a little bit dis you know not would, would, would be discouraged to go there and sell shit stuff because they know it's a drug tested facility and if one person fobs you out then you're basically fucked so that's what you'd hope would happen and essentially that would also go a long way to clean up the festivals but for some reason our government said no and then decided that hey these drug tested facilities aren't going to happen that way you have to then put a license through and whatnot and if you had to, and, and to apply for a license takes time and that time will then result in you not having the ability to have drug testing facilities at your flipping venue during the festivals which are happening over the next few weeks and months and stuff pretty weird to be fair it kind of feels like the government are purposely trying to encourage people to take shitty things in the hope that the devs would eventually lead people to saying hey no more raves no more festivals because i feel like this country overall the uk is, con is you know it's categorically bad vibes so i've always felt like to me in my heart of hearts i always felt like the uk in general would much rather it be rid of festivals and clubs overall they much prefer just have live shows here and there for the most part festivals of a type sim of a type of genre maybe festivals where only bands play and just loads of restaurants but they don't want fucking clubs they fucking hate it which is why they, they do everything in their power to kind of you know work against clubs when they're trying to make things right or work against festivals trying to make things right so i, I flipping hate it and it's freaking weird so i credit park life founder for doing this so it's courtesy of um, Mix Mag. It says Sasha Lord, who is absolute legend, founder of Park Life, um, has written to the Home Secretary Soella Braverman, um, sorry Braverman, to protest the government's recent U-turn in regards to the on-site drug testing at festivals. Long-standing drug checking for Charity the Loop were recently told that they needed to apply for a specific license 48 hours before they were due to commence drug testing at Park Life. On June 8th, the Home Office announced that the on-site drug testing at festivals required at controlled dogs license and for testing to occur at the name permanent premises rather than pop-up tents or festival sites so going against everything they agreed prior licenses could take up to 16 weeks to be approved motherfuckers and the loop could not host the services this year's festival marking the first time in 10 years such dog ch so such drug testing services um have been found to increase the safety and well-being of festival goers as drugs can be tested without persecution or judgment front of house testing services as offered by the loop across prior pandemic allowed um attendees to submit their own drugs for testing and receive tailored results back those such personalized strands of drug checking are no longer available back of house testing has been proven just as effective if unknown substances were identified or dangerously high dose of a drug was found in the tested item a push notification would be sent to all festival goers warning them to stay clear of the drug so clearly this is a good incentive right you get a really highly dosed punisher pill and you get a couple of 18 year olds on their first festival out maybe with no food in their belly, just drinking, it'll send an alert to everybody. Hey, be careful with this pill. If you're going to take it, break it into quarters or something, or just don't do it anymore and take something that's lower, lower dose. Or if something's been cut to shit and it's dangerous and harmful, don't take this, throw it in the bin. Those things are really important because it could really help to save lives because it seems like every year there's a fucking unnecessary death of a young person at a festival and it's always tragic, man. Um, these operations, uh, this, these, 
these operation on a cross so these operate on a cross agency basis which means information about the circulation of dangerous substances can be passed between nearby festivals police uh, police services and medical services this makes the treatment uh, provided by medical professionals when dealing with drug related instances much more effective as they already be aware of the drug's chemical composition last year testing at the loop helped raise the alarm about dangerously strong ecstasy pills at park life and secret garden um the nta and sasha lord have now instructed the legal teams um to write a request for a digital review in response to the home office actions the letter calls for an immediate reversal of the june announcement and for a previously agreed arrangements to be reinstated legal action is threatened if the government fails to provide a response by july 7th wow big up sasha lord man sasha lord is fucking putting his foot on their necks and it's really, really appreciated. Big up Sasha Lord. He's always fighting a good fight for the dance music, electronic music scene, and just doing what needs to be done. And he's somebody that should be flipping, having a job as being the fucking London mayor. Not this flipping poxy Amy Lammy. It actually should be fucking someone like Sasha Lord. He's an absolute G. It continues. The latest states, um, state, sorry, that the despite the Home Office denial, it is well aware that on-the-site drug testing has been taking place at festivals across country since 2014. It has a response to the digital culture and media sports select committee report on the future uk festivals president august 2021 um the government said it will continue to support back of house testing on substances that have been seized as this van provided um useful intelligence and enable other partners to implement harm reduction measures michael kill ceo of ntia states the home office must reverse their decision for 2023 and consider the true impact of withdrawing a practice which has been operating safely in some regions for 10 years with the knowledge and support of the police and local authorities the festivals and event sector extremely hard um work to ensure the festivals goers are kept safe and rely heavily on back of house testing without this facility we are putting people's lives at risk leaving considerable void in the drug intelligence for police and medical support services on the ground for the rest of 2023 and such a lord said the home office must put an end to the reckless disregard for the safety of the festival goers and reinstate the existing mem uh, memorandum of the understanding and immediate effect the industry works tirelessly to ensure we do everything possible to safeguard the public if the home office continues not to support us in this vital work we will be left with no other choice but to call for a full investigation and consultation so big up such a lord big up park life big up michael kill for ntia let's reverse that decision asap and let's make sure we keep these pill popping kids and adults safe at festivals thank you very much keep them safe i've had enough of this i hate it keep them blood Clot safe.